Hello, good morning, student. How are you? I hope you all are happy and healthy at home. So yesterday, what did we discuss? Yesterday, we discuss protection of hydroxyl group using silyl as a silyl chloride as a protecting group that silyl group how the alcoholic group get protected at what condition at what condition it is removed or at what condition they are stable all these things we have learned yesterday in details so today we are going to learn we are going to discuss about the protection of hydroxyl group as a ether by using some of the reagent which is given in your syllabus and the syllabus introduced this year by Savitri by Phule Pune University and here if you look at there the protecting group MOM, MEM, MIP as an ether these are the again suitable reagent by using as a different condition we can protect and deprotect this uh, reagent so as we know that the ideal protecting group the ideal protecting group should be introduced under mild condition second important point regarding as a protecting group should be removed under mild condition and the third important point regarding ideal protecting group that is it should be stable at in oxidizing or reducing or in case of uh, acidic condition or the basic condition that are the three important point or the characteristic or the feature of the ideal protecting group now first one we are going to learn here first one is a MOM now MOM what will be the full form of MOM MOM means methoxy methyl chloride this is called as methoxy methoxy methyl methoxy methyl chloride that is the full form of MOM methoxy methyl chloride methoxy we know that methoxy means here we can draw the structure of methoxy methyl chloride this one methoxy methyl chloride means this is a the structure which is drawn according to as a curly's arrow or this is a zigzag pattern like this or in short we can write cs3o then cs2cl this part is known as a methoxy and this is a methyl and the chloride and that is the structure of methoxy methyl chloride and it is a one of the reagent used for protection of alcohol and as we know that the general of uh, general formula of alcohol will be this one OH this will be introduced under this MO M yeah, under the basic condition we can use as a basic condition maybe as a NH sodium hydride which is a base and what do you get you are going to get RO M O M R O M O M means here uh, if you write this one R O then C S2 this I think this one then this this is nothing but as a M O E 
so this is a ether part ether means we know that the, there is a linkage of ether carbon oxygen and carbon that linkage is known as a ether and this is a they are introduced under the basic condition the base here we have used as a sodium hydroxide now this deprotection can be carried out under acidic condition you can use as a you can treat this compound in presence of acid the resulting compound is obtained as a alcohol and the side product don't think about the side product that is the main product we are getting here that is a alcohol as we know that this is a alcohol starting compound is a alcohol which has a general formula roh now let us look at the mechanism of protection now first one mechanism of protection mechanism mechanism of protection protection mechanism of protection as we know that this is a protecting group with mom means here what is the first one roh right that will be treated with na a sodium hydride hydride can pick up the proton from here like this h minus will pick up the proton from here form as a negative charge and you are going to get r o minus and then this is further treated with this one uh methoxy chloride methoxy chloride will be return like this now this negative charge now as we know that chlorine atom is a more electronegative in nature and it pull the electron density i uh, from the carbon atom and this carbon atom becomes as a electron deficient in nature and therefore this negative charge this nucleophile is going to attack on this carbon atom and there is a departure of chlorine group and the resulting compound obtained will be r then we can write o then this this o and this this is a protecting this group or in short we can write as a r r o m o m right that is a methoxy methyl chloride this is a mechanism of protection now let us see the mechanism of deprotection now second part is a mechanism mechanism of deprotection mechanism of deprotection so mechanism of deprotection let us take down this structure r then can write o then o this methyl group me we can write r this is a methyl group the terminal carbon r this terminal uh, uh, bond indicate as there is a carbon atom this king uh, also has a methyl group and now the h plus in a acidic condition removal under the acidic condition now there are the two hydrogen atoms are there but preferentially the oxygen atom in a control condition this oxygen atom only pick up the proton from acidic medium and we are going to get r o then h positive charge there then o then this one when when the positive charge comes on that uh, oxygen atom or any hetero atom that organic species becomes as a more uh, less stable and therefore this bond is a breaking in this way form because here <laughs> negative charge is coming over there and forming as a double bond so don't think about that but we are going to get roh that is a main product alcohol get deprotected under the mild acidic condition 
uh, if you use as a strong acidic condition there is a possibility of breaking of this bond and therefore this methoxy bond is a very stable bond it uh, required as a vigorous condition to break that bond and therefore by using as a mild acidic condition we can easily remove this group so this is all about the first moe uh, mo m group methoxy methyl chloride how it is used for the protection that we have seen now let us look at second one the second one is known as mem right and second one is known as a mem let me clean the board first and now look at the second one second one second rea reagent is m e m right mem what will be the full form of mem instead of mom means methoxy here methoxy ethyl methyl chloride this mem stand for methy m stand for methoxy right first m stand for the methoxy e indicate as a ethyl ethyl methyl chloride methoxy ethyl methyl chloride methyl chloride so that is the full form of mem methoxy ethyl methyl chloride methoxy ethyl methyl chloride methoxy ethyl methyl chloride now let us see the structure methoxy as we know that this is a methoxy group ethyl means there are two uh, one two three and then ethyl i think meth methoxy ethyl chloride methoxy ethyl chloride not the methyl here only just remember methoxy ethyl chloride chloride so that is a, a ethyl group instead of methyl in a previous case there is a methyl group but here is a uh, ethyl group and therefore we can call it as a methoxy ethyl chloride sorry here <coughs> something is a missing methoxy ethyl methoxy methyl chloride methyl chloride methoxy ethyl methyl chloride not that one so structure will be this one methoxy methoxy then ethyl then methyl chloride that will be the ethoxy methyl methoxy ethyl methyl chloride methyl chloride that is the structure of mem so as we know that the mechanism in the first moe same mechanism is here let us take down as a first compound is a roh alcohol that will be treated with treated with mem mem this is a structure of mem in presence of sodium hydroxide so you will get r then o then ch2 this ch2 then o here then this one o methoxy that type of the compound is nothing but r o m e m in short you can remember and this Uh, this is a protecting group of hydroxyl as an ether and this group can be deep protected by using the mild acidic condition it can be easily removed if you treat with h plus you are going to get the final product or the resulting product 
is ROH. So this is a compound we are getting here ROH alcohol. So this is the second. Now moving toward the next point. The next point will be the third one which is known as mechanism we already discussed in the first example a mechanism is the same all over now is the third point we are going to learn MIP right M I P MIP means what methoxy isopropyl chloride this one is known as a methoxy methoxy isopropyl isopropyl chloride chloride this is a full form of mip mip means methoxy isopropyl chloride and these all are uh, similar structure now we have uh, let us see the structure what will be the structure of methoxy isopropyl chloride here methoxy I, uh, as we know that this is a methoxy group isopropyl means this one uh, one two one two three or not here here you can this one isopropyl cl one two three isopropyl here you can put as a methyl group one two three not there let us see make the correction here now this methyl group and then chlorine so this is the isopropyl group one two three carbon atoms are there and that is isopropyl chloride this one and methoxy group connected at two position and therefore methoxy isopropyl chloride this is the structure cs3 then ch methyl cs3 ch2 and cl so this is the structure of methoxy isopropyl chloride now the same function as we know that it is used for the protection of the alcohols and as we know that the general formula of alcohol is a ROH that will be treated with this one MIP in presence of sodium hydroxide it produce the protecting group as an ether RO MIP is nothing but this one R then O then this attached there O this one and one methoxy group is there this is nothing but as a isopropyl group there and for deep protection we can treat this protecting group in presence of mild acidic condition this bond get cleaved easily and resulting compound will be the ROH means this is a alcohol we are getting back that is a deep protection I think with this let us uh, stop today here remaining we will see the next time thank you have a nice day